on this tech segment, we will talk about the specifications of the Skunk 2 Pro 2 cams and actual details on degreeing the intake in the exhaust camshaft accordingly. This is going to be the tech segment you love. Now this is the cam card of the Skunk 2 Pro 2 cams. The duration on the intake is 260 degrees and the exhaust is 272. But what's more important is the peak lift center which is 98 degrees after top dead center and the exhaust is 106. So this is what we wrote when we worked on the B20 VTEC. So let me show you. We'll do it again right now so that you get all the steps that you need to know. Okay, we're gonna start off with zero on the intake. We'll write it. It's 32 before top dead center. All right. And then the closing is 51 after bottom dead center so 32 plus 51 is 83 and you add 180 that's 263 okay so that's your duration 263 duration at 0 0.040 okay now we got to write it down so that it's not confusing all right here 263 at 0 0.040 all right there you go. Now, to get the lobe center, because it's the center of the duration, you got to divide 263 by 2. So that's 131.5. And then you deduct the 32 over the sum. So it's 131.5 minus 32. That gives you 99.5. And that's your lobe center, all right? Hopefully the diagram or the details make sense and you can write your notes down to be sure. All right, now we write that down so we don't forget it or go, don't get confused. Okay, it's 99.5 lobe center, all right? Now we're off to the exhaust. All right, so where's my notes all right it's 58 degrees let's write it down oh wait it's plus two advance on the exhaust and it's 58 degrees before bottom dead center or bbdc all right and the uh, Closing is 30 after top dead center. All right, so we do the same thing, you know. You add the 58 opening to the 30, so it's 88. All right, and then you add 180, so it's 268, and that's your duration 268 degrees of duration at point zero forty all right wait let's just write it down I'm trying to compute it on my laptop just to be sure you know we don't want to make those small math mistakes because that's going to be embarrassing so it's there 268 degrees at point zero forty all right and then we divide the 268 by 2 so we get 134 and then we subtract that with the 30 degrees closing 
and we get 104 lobe center all right and as you've noticed with the cam degreeing because we've done the clay testing we've done the valve to valve clearancing we already know the certain window that's safe for the engine so that we could play around when degreeing or dynoing and that would matter so much as far as engine health goes or blowing up on the dyno okay now here we are at the degree kit on the engine and you can see it's zero the reason why it's important is because you need to have a marker or a wire pointing at top dead center we use a regular wire wire you know we just bolt it onto the bracket and so that's a reference point for top dead center now the intake is advanced two degrees as you can see that's the maximum when we clay tested it that's the safe part and then the exhaust is advanced four degrees as you can see right okay so now let's go progress into degreeing this thing let's go now on to the opening sequence at 0 0.040 okay, slowly we're gonna stop at 0 0.040 all right okay there now we move down to the degree wheel and check the opening. So it's before top dead center. Okay, we count it. One, two, three. So it's 30. Oh, 35. All right. Now let's head to the desk. All right. So it's 35 degrees before top dead center all right all right now we continue to get the lift and then on the way down on the way to closing we stop at 0 0.040 once again okay a little bit more okay there it's going down now it's about closing yep okay one more one more okay we gotta stop here at 0 0.040 slowly all right there all right now let's head to the degree wheel all right let's check it out okay it's okay that's bottom dead center so it's after so it's one two three four okay 47 okay 47 after bottom dead center all right let's go to the desk all right so it's 47 after bottom dead center or abdc all right all right so you add the 35 to the 47 then you add 180 that's 262 divided by 2 is 131 subtract the opening you get 96 lobe center all right okay now we're on to the exhaust so we stop at 0 0.040 again on this opening all right oh there that's pretty that was pretty e easy okay now we he we head to the degree wheel all right so it's Wait, bottom dead center, so it's before. Okay, so 62, all right. Let's head to the desk once again. Let's go. Okay, so the opening is um, 62 degrees before bottom dead center, BBDC, okay. Now back to the engine. Let's go. Now we go we go to max lift and then all the way to the closing at 0 0.040. Alright, it's coming back. Alright. Three. Okay. Okay, this is it. One more, one more. Or okay, wait. Uh, there. Now let's check the wheel. 
all right now let's check okay it's after top dead center one two okay so it's 26 okay it's 26 after top dead center now once again we head to the desk let's go all right now the closing is 26 degrees after top dead center all right so we add it all up and get the loop center okay doing the usual math we get uh wait we get 108 lobe center so let's see now here okay now as you can see here it's 108 lobe center on the exhaust and we filled out the degrees that we got when we did the engine and as you can see with skunk to suggestion we got 98 lobe center on the intake with advanced one degree and on the exhaust when you advance three degrees we get 106.5 lobe center which is really really close or actually what skunk 2 suggested so the thing now is a lot of people would always say they would degree the cams and then on the dyno it still changes or it wants something else and that makes sense because for example, if you get it at 98 degrees lobe center on the intake and on the dyno, you made more power by advancing it one degree. That means either the intake or the exhaust is actually not complementing the intake cam. And that goes for the exhaust as well. If it's set at 106 lobe center, and you make more power by advancing it that simply means either the exhaust is not scavenging enough or the whole muffler is actually creating back pressure you know and going back to the intake when you have to retard it or advance it that just means you're making the valve action earlier or later and your builder would know what changes that you need to make more power because if they don't well then you gotta find a different one that knows you know because degreeing is not just in order for you to follow the manufacturer's suggested position it actually tells you more on how to get even better results as you go on and that's what makes engine development quite fun and very addictive to me so you can just click here for more and subscribe because you know you're gonna get some more good stuff soon